Hey guys, I'm here at Red Top Rice Dryer. I want to show you how rice is dried for storage after it's been harvested. Also, I'm here with special guest star Evan Jones. Hi guys! Evan Jones is the son of Matt Jones, the operations manager here, and he's also interested in rice and filmmaking, so this should be fun. Evan, let's go find your dad. Let's go! Come here. Hey, Matt. How you doing, Matt? Sit down, guys. Well, Matt, thanks for agreeing to give us a tour of the facility. Absolutely. Now, for the viewers here, what's the maximum capacity of rice that can be stored here? The maximum capacity of red top rice storage is 260 million pounds of rice. Wow. Wow, 260 million pounds. A lot of rice. Yeah. And what's the daily capacity which you guys can receive? On a max delivery day, 250 truckloads is just under 14 million pounds of rice that are received in this facility. Wow. All right. Let's go take a tour. All right, we're heading over to the pit where the trucks unload the freshly harvested rice. You last saw this unloading pit in my California rice harvest video, episode 11. Stay onto this cup, stand on this platform, and you pull the rope the direction you want to go. Just stop it. Okay. From the pit, we descend via conveyor lift about 40 feet underground into the basement of one of Red Top's dryers. For safety reasons, Eben stays behind and takes over management. Down here is the underside of the unloading pit, where begins a system of augers and elevators delivering and commingling freshly harvested rice into grain bins, or silos, so that they may be transferred through the drying units. Matt explains. Once it goes into the green bin, operator will select which bin he wants to start drying, goes into another elevator, which will put it in the top of the dryer. That's scary. That is scary. Back on ground level, Matt takes me through the fan room and inside the heating unit where we can watch the rice passing through the drying column and see it transferred back into a bin. Then in the control room, Matt explains how rice can be moved from bin to bin and accounted for as it's dried down to storage moisture. We then take the conveyor lift up, way up above the basement, following the elevators to the top of the facility. This is where operators can determine which bin the rice should be transferred, depending on its stage in the drying process. From a side door, Matt shows me something awesome. We just walked through the rice dryer. Let's go look at the warehouses. From the drying facility, we make our way over and down into one of Red Top's 11 flat storage warehouses. Hi, I'm Rob Shear. I'm the facility manager at Red Top Rice Growers. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you, Matt. The warehouses hold rice that has been dried down to storage moisture. This is like a country's worth of rice. This is the chutes they utilized, yeah, to, to drop the rice where they need it. So here at Red Top Rice Growers, our, our point of focus beyond employee safety is product quality and food safety. Before returning down to ground level, we take advantage of another beautiful view of the northern Sacramento Valley rice fields. We're trying to get the product finished and shipped out of our facility, out to the consumer. Really, 
appreciate the time. The tour was excellent. That was fun. I got some things to do. You guys have any more questions? Just give me a holler. Will do. Thank right. you very much. Well, hey, what should we do now? Let's edit. All right.